Hey Stampers! Welcome to another week of Watch It Weekly Wednesday. I am Beth Olson and I'm so excited to be here with you today. Um, if you're not aware, if you're new to our channel, um, this is the Stamping Jill channel. There are a couple of us who contribute to it and bring you a new video every Wednesday with recent product from the Stampin' Up! catalogs. Really cute stuff, techniques, new ideas. So I hope that you'll subscribe and you'll join us every week because I think that we have a lot of cute ideas and I hope you'll think so too. What I wanted to show you today is a product that's new in our spring catalog. We call it our occasions catalog. Um, it's kind of different for me. I have to say I kind of stepped outside my comfort zone with this project, but I really liked it and I had some ideas that I just played with and it really came to life for me. So I hope that maybe this will encourage you to step out of your comfort zone and try something new. So it has to do with watercoloring. I'm not great at watercoloring. The arty stuff is kind of hard for me because I really like really precision, even stamping, clean stamping. That's kind of my style, but I wanted to venture out and try some different things. When I saw these, they're kind of weird to see on camera, I guess, but when I saw these beautifully detailed laser cut specialty paper, I don't know what it was about them. I thought I could put those on everything. <laughs> they're so pretty. They come with two different designs. The first design is this one. It's 12 by 12 and it's a really pretty detailed sheet. And on one side, it's petal pink. And on the other side, it's Whisper White. So there's different ways that you can use it. The other design that comes with this pack are these little overlays for cards. This will fit a three and a half by five inch card front. So you can cut out all these little overlays and play with them on your cards. There's also these borders that you can cut out and use for different things too. And these also on one side are petal pink and on the other side is Whisper White. So there's a lot of options of what you can do. These were so delicate, it kind of scared me, but I actually had a really great time working with them. Um, we had received a swap from a girl who is on the Creative Stampers team, and um, Peggy Ireland, and she showed us this really cool technique. And it kind of, this is the look that I got inspired by her technique. So I wanted to kind of show you this look today. When I was thinking about the overlays, I thought I need to do something really cute in the background to kind of bring those overlays to life. So let me bring in my projects and show you what I did. This first one is just a simple watercolor wash. I was inspired by the wonderful Romance stamp set and that suite of products. So I stayed with that color scheme of Fresh Fig, Mellow Moss, and Petal Pink. The petal pink is a new color this year, and it's kind of a peachy pink. It's not really a bright, soft pink. It's more like a peach, peach-colored pink, I think. So I started with this, just a simple watercolor wash, cute sayings in that stamp set. I really liked it. There are really cute access accessories, too, that come with that suite of products that I've used on some of these projects. So there's the first one. I got a little more daring and used a, a few more colors in the technique that Peggy showed us and did that one. And then I took the back of one of the overlays and I dyed it with my Fresh Fig pad and made it Fresh Fig because I wanted something that was a little bolder. With this one, I didn't do a watercolor wash, but I stamped with the wonderful Romance stamp set and watercolored over it. And I thought that gave it a really pretty look. I also love, love, love this saying, you are the best thing I never knew I needed. I thought that was so cute. Um, so this one, I did more of what that wash look that Peggy taught us, but I also wanted to feature this ribbon. I think it is so, so pretty. It's variegated petal pink and whisper white ribbon. It's got kind of a thin weight to it, so you can do a lot of things like this with it, but it's kind of fun. I really enjoyed working with it. That one was fun. This one I thought was so pretty. I took the large image from that stamp set, I stamped it and watercolored it with different the different colors, and then I had watercolor washed it, and I love this overlay that just kind of frames it. I thought that was really pretty. And then this one, same thing. This is just an overlay that I trimmed down and just stamped and watercolored and added some little accessories, but it was so simple, really quick, but it looks really dressed up, and it's a lot of fun. I also wanted to use the borders. I actually had my daughter help me with this because she loves crafting and she helps me with all the cute flower details. We just recently got our family pictures done, so here's my cute family. And I added the border here at the top and here at the bottom. 
added a cute little saying, which I love that saying too. And then we added these cute flower details just to frame our picture for our family. And that was a cute way to use those little details as well. So let me show you a little bit of the watercoloring that were featured on my cards. These are our note cards. These come in a pack with envelopes and they measure three and a half by five inch. So they're a little bit smaller, but it's nice if you just wanna have a little card to toss on a project. I love this Whisper White one. Um, they're really versatile and you can use them for a lot of different things. One thing that we've noticed is with our new stamp pads, they're harder to push and get some ink on the top of your lid to be able to watercolor with. So if you can't do that, you can always take your reinker and just drop a couple of drops in the lid of your stamp pad. It's not gonna hurt anything, it's not gonna ruin anything, it will just give you some ink that you can watercolor with. We have our aqua painters and these come in two packs. They're really nice because you just refill them with water and they just kind of give you a free flow of water so that you can get that watercolor effect. So I'm just gonna show you first a watercolor wash that's just really simple and easy. Just get some ink, load it up on there. I lightly squeeze it as I go because I like it to look kind of ombre like that. Grab some more ink and as it's wet, you can just make it more and more inky. Now remember when you're watercoloring, no two cards ever look the same. They become kind of your own project, your own creation, which is the funnest part of it. So if you're maybe a little bit more of a precise stamper and you've never tried this before, just give it a whirl. Try it out and kind of see what you think because this is something that I don't typically like, but I really enjoyed this. You really can't do it wrong. So that's kind of the first look that we have is just that simple watercolor wash using ink and water. And that was shown on this card just like that, that's the background behind the overlay. And also on this one with some fresh fig. And it looks so different without the overlay on it. It also looks different before it's dried. So always set your projects aside and let them dry and then decide if you like them or not. Let me show you the technique that Peggy Ireland taught us with. I thought this was so fun and it looks really, really neat on paper. Um, so we take a piece of cardstock I'm just doing that card front again and open your ink pads. I used two colors for each of the ones I did. I didn't know quite how three would go, um, but I'm sure you could use one. You could use multiple ones. Um, just give it a go and try it out. I like to start with the color I want to be a little more bold, I guess, because I'm going to put more on it. And you start, you hold your stamp pad in this direction. So the thinner part is at the top and you're just going to take it and pull it across your paper. It looks messy and crazy, but that's kind of the name of the game today. Just pull it across, fill in your space a little bit, just like that. And then I'm gonna bring in my second color, which is Mossy Meadow in this case, and I'm just gonna try to fill in these white spots here. You wanna make sure that you're only using that tip top part of your stamp pad so you're not dragging it across the whole bit and just fill in some of those little spots. Now you wanna do this next part while your ink is still kind of wet, but take your aqua painter and just do a whole water wash over the top of it. It looks crazy, it looks really messy and wet. It will dry and look amazing. So do that and it gets a little crazy, but it comes out like this or like this. Or here's one that I didn't put on a project that I just could show you. That's it dried. And I thought that was kind of fun, kind of cool and different. A great way to use these overlays and make them have something behind them that pop really well. Um, I also loved working with this wonderful romance stamp set. It was a great starter for watercoloring because it, the they're kind of bold and big shapes, so it was a little bit easier, I felt like, to fill them in. So that was a fun thing to do. So I hope that you're inspired by these products as well. Maybe it'll inspire you to try to do something that's out of your comfort zone or something new. The Occasions catalog is full of great products that sometimes get lost in the nooks and crannies. Um, so maybe just take a little browse through it and see if there's anything new that you'd want to try. Um, if you don't have an Occasions catalog and you'd like one, please let us know because we'd love to send you one. I hope that you've enjoyed this video. If you have, you can share it with your friends or give it a thumbs up. And thanks for watching. We'll see you next week for another Watch It Weekly Wednesday. Bye.